Good afternoon. Let me present you the headline of Ukraine. The commander of Azov managed to talk with his wife. Denis Prokesho, commander of Azov National Guard, resentment of Ukraine, found his wife Yekaterina, who was received, received information that the Russians were holding Ukrainian fighters in certificate condition. He said that he was doing well and also asked how I was. I heard from other sources that the conditions are more or less certificate. They are paid and green, given water. The conditions are adequate and this is not short period. They have not been subjected to violence. Zelensky called the condition of the meeting with Putin. President of Ukraine, Verona Zelensky, has called his meeting with Russian President Putin is only possible if it addresses the only issue, ending the war. Zelensky said this on May 23, speaking at the Ukrainian house in Davos, Switzerland. According to Zelensky, in Russia, such, de such a decision-making structure without him, the de decisions are not made. Without him, there will be no decision to end the war. Britain will not send ships to escort Ukrainian grain carriers in Black Sea. Britain has no plan to send Royal Navy warships to Black Sea to help es escort export port such as grain from the blocked Ukrainian port of Odessa. This was stated by the representative of the British government in response to the publication of the Times about the alleged provision of the ships for maritime blockade. Russian Shisha Marine sentenced to life imprisonment can be exchanged for Ukrainian prisoners. Russian Army Sergeant Vadim Shishimarin, who was recently sentenced to life in prison for killing a civilian in Ukraine, could be included in the exchange of Ukrainian prison. This was stated by Prosecutor General Iran Verodika on the air of single Teleton. According to the head of the General Prosecutor Office, despite the court party, the possibility of exchanging the occupier is still open from no good point of view. Pro-Russian ex-president Don is detained for such a, after such as in Moldova. In Moldova, the former president, pro-Russian politician Igor Dodon, was detained, uh, was detained against whom criminal court case was recently opened on suspicion of corruption. This was, spot, was reported by publication Destiji with reference to Interim Prosecutor General Metro Rob Rice. Please subscribe for my like this. Thank you.